Welcome to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle series. Today I have a pair of battles from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, which you should join. Link in the description down below. Against Cody first and then Reese. Gengar steals the show in the first game with its powerful nasty plot set, boosting its special attack to sky high levels to sweep. As for the second game, well, you'll see. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into the first team preview. Okay, Cody's brought a pretty cool looking team with the Meloetta, the Zangus, Surviper. I like that Zangus, Surviper combo, that's cool. Uh, Dragalgi, Trevenant, and Iron Boulder. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I'm wondering what to lead with. So, they have got the uh, electric, the Iron Paradox Mon, which can benefit from the electric terrain. Um, but I think Gengar could put some work in here if we can get rid of the Meloetta. And um, that's for sure with the Focus Sash and everything. Oh, he's key taking out the Iron Boulder. So, we save Gengar till um, last. We don't lead with it by any means. Um, I think if we lead off with our uh, Iron Valiant, that'd be a decent one. Um, they don't have a ground type, actually. Let's lead off with Raichu and Volt Switch. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Zangoose. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. We lead off with Cheese, the Raichu. A load of Raichu, of course. And um, we do have speed here, so I'm going to go straight for a Volt Switch. There's no real reason not to, as a Volt Switch will do probably about 50% of the Zangoose. Yep, just over 50%, which is great. Um, so Raichu, come on back to us, and let's go into something more fitted to take on a Zangus. So, I'm looking at you, Iron Treads, and I'm also looking at you, Moltres. So, I think I will go Moltres here. I think Moltres is a sound one. So, Forks can come in. It's physically defensive, so we know we can dig a hit. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our Heavy Duty Boots. However, we could burn them here, which is going to be clutch if we can. Um, but no, they got poisoned by that Poison Orb. So, they're, the Toxic Boost, or whatever it's called... Um, which is unfortunate. So it means facade's going to definitely do a lot of damage. But we can just take this thing out of a flamethrower right now. They do go for the facade. I'm pretty confident we can take one of them. We can take one, which is great. Moltres comes through with a flamethrower. And that's going to finish off old Zangus over there. And now we can roost Moltres back up to health if we want to later. But um, I've really, really been enjoying using Moltres in OU right now. It's actually a really fun Pokemon to use. Like, and it's so cool as well. All right, in comes Surviper. Nice. Nice and shiny as well. It's got to be shiny. Um, so let's go for a Roost real quick, because th this thing probably wants to up Coils or something. So we go for a Roost, which is great. There we go. Roost comes through. It's going to get us some health back. We obviously outsp outspeed a Viper. They go for a Glare, which is interesting. So Glare comes through. They obviously expected an Iron Tread switch there, maybe. Um, but this time I'm going to go for a, a um, Will-O-Wisp. Um, because they actually outspeed us now, obviously, because of the Paralysis. Sludge Bomb isn't going to be... Is, 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 so it's a special Viper, so... Will Wisp wouldn't have done too much anyway, um, but now we have to switch out because we can still use this for later. So let's go into Iron Treads now, and hopefully we come in on a Sludge Bomb. That'd be ideal. Um, Iron Treads is going to be key to taking out a lot of things on this team, like Surviper and uh, Dragalgy as well. So we definitely want to keep Iron Treads around. So they go for a Sludge Bomb. It's not going to work, of course. We do have the Eject Button as well, um, so we are actually all right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock. I think Stealth Rock is going to be really important. I feel like they switch out to Trevenant here. They actually stay in. We go for a Stealth Rock. We could have Earthquake there. We could have Earthquake there. And it would have definitely done a lot of damage. So, uh, they go for a Glare this time. Which is, of course, going to paralyze us. Now, here's the problem we've got. Um, there is a chance we still have speed. We go for an Earthquake here. And um, if they attack us with a Flamethrower, it'll activate our Eject Pack and we'll get switched out. But if they don't, which they haven't done, they're going to withdraw. And are they going to go into Trevenant? Yeah, Trevenant comes in. That's fine. Trevenant's a good switch. Nice and shiny as well. I love shiny Trevenant. It's so cool. Stealth Rocks is going to dig in. We go for an EQ, which is definitely going to do a bit of chip, which is nice. Nothing too drastic. I'm going to make a hard switch into Moltres here. Um, just because a Moltres can take a hit from this thing, unless he goes for Poltergeist. Well, it can't. It, Poltergeist won't affect us because we've lost the Heavy Duty News. So they go for a Poltergeist, which is great. It's going to fail, obviously, because we have no item anymore. Uh, and now we get a free Roost off if we want to. I'm going to go for the Roost. Um, we should be alright. They do withdraw the Trevenant. Are they going to go into the Dragalgi now? Yeah, Dragalgi comes in. This thing is a bit of a threat because um, we don't have a lot to take a Draco Meteor from this thing. Stealth Rocks do dig in, which is awesome. And then we go for a Roost to get our health back up to pretty much full, nearly full. You know, about, about we've got about, a, what, a fifth of our health left. So now, I'm going to go for a U-turn. We should still um, take a hit from this thing. So yeah, they go for a Scald. Um, we go for a U-turn. It's going to do a bit of chip, but he gets us a free switch in on it with whatever we want. Now, they are Rocky Helmet, which is very interesting to note. Very interesting to note they are Rocky Helmet. So, now, what do we do? Uh, I'm leaning towards Pink Urchin for, to get the spikes up and also the electric terrain. Um, yeah, let's go Pink Urchin. 
Let's get the electric terrain up. But also, we'll set up some spikes as well, which is going to be great. So, electric surge comes through. Like so. And we just go for a spikes here. There's no real reason not to. We should be able to take a Draco Meteor from this thing, no problem. They do withdraw the Dragology. What are they going to go into, though? The um, Iron Boulder? Meloetta the Cherish comes in. That's fine. Nice and shiny. Oh, it's the new one that you get from Pokemon Home. That's awesome. That's awesome. I haven't got that yet. So, Spikes comes through. We get a layer of Spikes up, which is going to help in the whittling down our team. And now, this thing turns out to be Leftovers. So, that's good to know. So, they're probably a Calm Mind set. They're not Assault Vest. They're probably Calm Mind. So, um, do I go for another Spikes? Or do I go for a Memento? I say we go for a Memento here. They do go for a Calm Mind, but we're going to nullify that Calm Mind by going for a Memento here. So Special Attack and Special Defense does raise for the Meloetta. And we go for a Memento, which is, of course, going to lower that Special Attack down to minus one. And the uh, Physical Attack down to minus two. So that's good to know. Right, let's um, let's get Pink Urchin out of there real quick. So now, we'll, what we'll do is we'll go into... What's the best Pokemon to take on this Meloetta? We need a strong Physical Attacker, really. So, who better than... Our Iron Valiant. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We get that Quark Drive, which is going to boost our speed. Great. And now, because we know they're going to go for a Car Mind, we Encore them into it. So we go for an Encore here. Encore them into Car Mind. We go for a Swords Dance and we set up and sweep. That's how this is going to go down. They go for another Car Mind. That's fine. Go for your Car Minds all you want. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. So, Encore is a really clutch move to have on Valiant, I'm telling you now. I was playing with it on Showdown for ages, and I, it just came in clutch so much times. Because it gives you a free Swords Dance, which is deadly in the right hands, which is obviously Iron Valiant's hands. So, they withdraw Meloetta. They do not want to stay in a little Swords Dance up. They're going to go into what exactly the Iron Boulder? So, Viper comes in. That is a good switch. It is going to take some Stealth Rock and Spikes damage, which is great. Not heavy G boots. That's good to know. As uh, we go for a Swords Dance here. Now, we're going to have to break out the Terra Steel, I think. So, Iron Valiant, come on through. We're going to go for the Terra Steel. And we're going to go for a knockoff. So, we Terrastalize into a Steel type real quick. There we go. Boom. And nice and Steel type. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So... Now that we're Steel type, we can take a Sludge Bomb no problem, which I'm sure they'll go for. We go for a knockoff here. Oh, it takes out the Surviper anyway. I didn't think Surviper would die to a non-stab knockoff, but I guess we are Expert Belt, so that makes sense. In comes the Iron Boulder. Iron Boulder's looking pretty good right now. It's going to get a nice, probably a speed boost in its um, speed thanks to the Quark Drive. There it is. Activated the Quark Drive with the Electric Terrain, and it boosts their speed. So, um, I'm pretty confident we can live... A hit from this thing. So I'm going to go for a knockoff. I don't think we outspeed, right? Iron Boulder's faster, right? Yeah, they go for an EQ, but it's not stabbed. We should be able to live one. We do live, which is fantastic. We go for a knockoff. Cleanly take out the Iron Boulder. So Iron Boulder is no longer a threat. However, we do have some Pokemon that can probably take a knockoff, being the Dragology, maybe, and the the um, Meloetta might. They, they haven't Terraged yet, so I'm worried about that. Meloetta comes in. Like so, nice and shiny. We know it's going to Terra here. We know it's going to Terra here, but they are hurt by Stealth Rocks and Spikes. Let's go for a knockoff anyway, despite knowing they're going to Terra. Because if we force a Terra here, they're probably going to be Terra Fairy to take a knockoff, right? Probably. So let's see if they are. The Terra Poison. Interesting. So Terra Poison is a very interesting Terra um, for Meloetta. So that's, that's pretty cool to see. Uh, we go for a knockoff. It's going to be neutral. And it's not going to take out the Meloetta, unfortunately. And we get rid of them leftovers. They go for a Shadow Ball. That's going to finish off the Iron Valiant, unfortunately, for us. So, uh, that is unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. So, Iron Valiant goes down. Did really well this game, I will say. Did really well. But now it is time. The electricity has disappeared. Just in time. We go Gengar now. This is when we go Gengar. Because they are no longer immune to Shadow Ball for a start. So we're going to our nice and shiny red Gengar. We nasty plot. We nasty plot because we have got the Focus Sash intact. So nasty plot comes through. There we go. Boom. Gengar could get a late game sweep here. Could. 
They go for a Psy Shock. That's going to definitely KO us if we didn't have the uh, Focus Ash, of course. Um, Focus Ash is going to pop. And do we get the Cursed Body? We do get the Cursed Body, of course, on the Psy Shock, which is awesome. Now we just go for a sh simple Shadow Ball. And that should take out the Meloetta, no problem. So Shadow Ball comes through. And that's a dead Meloetta right there. But it was nice to see the shiny Meloetta on the field. I will say, that's a pretty cool shiny, to be honest with you. Pretty cool shiny. Pretty cool shiny. All right, Dragalgy comes in. Now, after a second dose of Stealth Rock and Spikes, can this thing take a Shadow Ball from us? That's the real question. Can it take a Shadow Ball from a nasty plot boosted Gengar? Let's find out, because this thing has some mad special, special bulk. So we go for the Shadow Ball. Is it going to KO? It KOs the Dragalgy. Just like that. Now we just have to hope and pray, but it, it, they, would, it, they wouldn't have Sucker Punch on the Trevenant. They would have brought it in already if they had that. So in comes the Trevenant. And Gengar. Gengar redeems itself after being laughed at by people for being not, not able to keep up with Power Creep this generation. We go for a Shadow Ball. There we go. Trevenant goes down, and that is going to be the game. So GG Cody, that was a really fun one. Really glad Gengar popped off. Iron Valiant 2. I think we definitely make this a Gengar one. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. GG Cody. Okay, Reese has brought a pretty powerful looking team with the Inteleon, the Pormot, Alolan Ninetales, Yam, Mega, Meow, Skirada, and a Metagross. Pretty cool stuff. So, um, obviously, I'm looking at this matchup. Gengar does pretty all right if we get rid of that Meow, Skirada. Um, and obviously, we will keep our focus dash intact. Gotta watch out for Bullet Punch from the Metagross. Um, I might lead off with Moltres. I think they don't lead off with Inteleon. I think they lead off with Alola Ninetales, to be honest with you, or Meow Skirada. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with Moltres. I think that's the best way to go about it, and we'll just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Reese. So they're going to lead off with Nightcore, which is Meow Skirada, as we expected, which is great. As I led off with Moltres, so obviously we know this thing's going to go ahead and switch out. I don't think they'll go for a U-turn. So I'm going to expect a hard switch, and I'm going to go for a U-turn myself. They do go for a U-turn as well. They're risking the burn a bit, but that's fine. If we can get the burn on the Ascarada, that'd be absolutely amazing. Uh, we don't, unfortunately, so they got lucky there, unless they're protective pads, of course. And they're going to go into Slipstream, which is, of course, going to be the Inteleon, right? Yeah, nice and shiny Inteleon. Got to love it. So uh, we go for our own U-turn, which is going to do a bit of chip to the Inteleon. So weakening that thing straight away is going to be really useful. That's for sure. So what we'll do now is we'll go into... I want to go Valiant now. I want to go Pink Urchin. I want to go Pink Urchin, so I'm going to go into Pink Urchin right now. So Spiny's coming in. There we go. Get the Electric Surge up, which is going to be great. And then we'll just go ahead and fire off a Discharge, because the only thing they can switch in really is Poor Mott. Unless we get Spikes up. I'm going to get Spikes up, because they haven't got a Hazard Clearer. They go for a Snipe Shot, which is going to do about a third of our HP. We go for a layer of Spikes, which is fantastic. But if they're going to stay in a snipe shot, this thing's a big threat to my Gengar, so I want to get rid of this thing. So I'm going to go for a discharge real quick. They go for another snipe shot, which is going to sting. They do get a crit, and that sniper ability is going to make the crit double the power instead of times 1.5, which means that Pink Urchin does die, unfortunately, to that. Um, but Electric Tainer is up, so we can go into Raichu real quick, which is great. Raichu can do a lot of things against the team. Um, it does really well, actually. So we'll go for a Thunderbolt straight up. There's no reason not to go for a Thunderbolt here. Because um, even if they go into the poor mod, we can just switch up moves and go for a Psychic. So Inteleon goes down, which is fantastic. Raichu coming through for us. Like, what a legend. What an absolute legend. In comes Nightcore, which is going to be the Meow Skirada. Now, this thing is an interesting choice here because if it's Scarfed, it might sell out speed us, but I don't think it does. I think we're safe going for a Volt Switch here. So we go for a Volt Switch, get a bit of chip. A bit of chip damage. It does a lot of increased amount of damage because of the fact that the electric terrain is up as well. So that's some nice damage right there on the uh, Meow Skirada, which is great. We just simply go into our Moltres here, and then we go for another U-turn back into a Lolan Raichu. So uh, Moltres comes in. They do go for a knockoff, which is going to get rid of our Heavy Duty Boots. Turns them into a pure Dark type, thanks to Protein, and it does no damage to us. It knocks off our Heavy Duty Boots, but that's about it. We don't get the burn, which is unfortunate, but we can just go for a U-turn now and do a massive amount of damage to this thing. All right, they go for another knockoff. They're risking it They're for a bit for Biscuit here. We have the Flame Body, which is nice, making this Meow Skirada even less of a problem. We go for a U-turn here. That's going to nearly take them out. And then we just bring Raichu back in and we Thunderbolt this thing. It's pretty much all we need to do, right? So Raichu, you can come in now. There we go. And Raichu has cleared the way for Gengar at this point. Raichu has cleared the way for Gengar. So Burn's going to nearly take them out. And what we can do is... 
We can go for a Volt Switch. No, let's go for a Thunderbolt first. Just finish off with a Thunderbolt. There's no point Volt Switching. I was going to Volt Switch into Gengar, but I don't think that's the right play. So Meowth Skirada goes through. Goes down. And now we've got four Pokemon remaining, which is absolutely amazing. We're doing pretty good here. Fuyumi comes in. That is the Alone of the Ninetales. Spike's going to dig in, which is great. And they get the Snow Warning off as well, which is awesome. So... Um, we could go, we could stay in and go for a Thunderbolt here. I don't, I don't see why not. Um, it's going to sting really well. So Thunderbolt comes through from the Raichu in Electric Terrain. Nearly gets the KO, which is fantastic from Raichu right there. As they go for an Aurora Veil. Was it worth it? Probably, yes. But the Electric Terrain should wear off this turn, right? Yeah, it does. Um, I was counting them. Uh, so now, our Electric Power is weakened. We are now slower than, well, nothing actually. We just go for a Thunderbolt here. There's no real reason not to. So Raichu comes through once again. Being an absolute legend. And destroying another of the Ninetales, which is awesome. Okay, Megatron comes in. That's going to be the uh, Metagross, right? Yeah, Metagross comes in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Now, um, in order to take this thing out, we're going to need to uh, sack something off. So I'm going to Volt Switch into our... I'm going to Volt Switch into Moltres, I think. I think that's the way to go about this. So Moltres... Get a Volt Switch done. That is definitely Assault Vest if I've ever seen it. Got to be Assault Vest or Special Defensive or something. Which is good to know. And we'll go into Moltres now, which can definitely um, handle this thing no problem. So, Moltres comes in. They go for a Trailblaze, which could burn them. Could burn them. Probably won't, though. Doesn't burn them. We go for a will o -Wisp then. That's what we have to go for. They go for a Psychic Fangs. We live those. There's the flame body, so our Will-O-Wisp is unfortunately going to fail here, but it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. So Will-O-Wisp comes through and fails. But they're burned now, so they are no longer a threat. And um, let's go for a let's go for a U-turn just in case we live, but we don't live, obviously. Um, so Moltres does go down, but it's fine. We didn't need Moltres for anything else, I don't think. That poor mod just like wrecks it. So the snow is going to stop. They are plus one speed, but should be able to do this still. So let's go into, I want to go Gengar. We'll go into Gengar now. Gengar can definitely, um, oh, we're flying as well. I forgot because Moltres was out before us. We definitely go for a Shadow Ball, that's for sure. I want to sell Nasty Plot, but we can't do that yet. So we'll go for a Shadow Ball. We do outspeed still, which is really cool. We still outspeed and they go ahead and reveal they are weakness policy. Of course they are. How are they taking those special attacks so well? Oh, Aurora Veil's up. I forgot about that. They go for an EQ. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. Does take us down to our Sash. However, I have a feeling since they're a Trailblaze set, they don't have Bullet Punch. So Curse Bodying the Earthquake's awesome. They're going to go down to the burn. No, not, not down, but they're going to go ahead and get damaged by the burn. We go for a Shadow Ball again, and uh, we take them out. Yeah, they haven't got Bullet Punch. That's good to know. So Gengar's coming through. Can Gengar pull through with one HP remaining? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea. All right, Rain comes in. Who's Rain? The Yam Mega. Nice. So Yam Mega's in. Let's go for a Sludge Wave, because it should still do a lot of damage to the Yam Mega. If they go for a Protect here, that's fine. They're going to get a Speed Boost, and they're going to plow through our team. But if the Speed Boost, then that means they're not Tinted Lens. So we don't have to worry about any really strong attacks from this thing. They go for a Protect, so they're going to try and get that Speed Boost, which makes a lot of sense. So, Gengar, you may have to go down here, because Sludge Wave isn't going to do anything anyway, um, because of the Protect. But also, we have Aurora Veil, which is going to, you know, weaken it. So, there's the Aurora Veil gone. They get the Speed Boost. What can we do against this thing? I'm leaning towards Iron Treads is going to be the one. Iron Treads needs to be the one, so let's go for a Sludge Wave. They go for a Bug Buzz. We might Curse Body the Bug Buzz, which would be nice if we did, but we don't. As Gengar goes down, which is unfortunate. But you know what, Yam Mega? I'm going to get you for this one. I'm going to get you for this. They are Throat Spray, which is deadly. Very deadly. And now they're at plus two speed as well. So we outspeed everything on our team. So I'm going to go into Iron Treads. And the reason I'm going into Iron Treads is because I don't think they will attack here. Unless they go for a Giga Drain. But I want them to go for a Giga Drain. They're going to go ahead and Terror. Okay, this is why I wanted to go into Iron Treads. I figured if there was a way for me to bait out the Terror, it was going to be this way. So... And they do tear into a ground type, which is good to know. Very good to know. They are a ground type. So that is um that's gonna definitely KO my iron treads right now of a terror blast. So there's the terror blast coming through. Boom. 
Bop. Right, okay, so Iron Shreds goes down. This is great. So we know what terror they are now. We know what terror they are now. But what can we do about it? Our best bet's going to be Iron Valiant here. So we're going to Iron Valiant. And as far as they're aware, we have nothing for this thing. So what I'm hoping they go for an Air Slash here. And I can go for a Swords Dance. Uh, not Swords Dance, a Close Combat. That's what I've got to hope for. And I have to hope that the Close Combat will KO. Um, but I don't think it does. Let's go for the Terra Steel close combat. Let's see if Terra, let's see if they go for an air slash for a start. If they don't, if they go for a Terra ground, Terra blast ground, we lose. If they go for an air slash to try and get the super effective damage on a potential fighting type, then we could potentially win this. They go for the air slash. It's going to do a lot of damage, but you know what? It doesn't flinch us, right? Oh, it flinched us. And with that, we've lost. And with that, we've lost because all they need to do now is go for Terra Blast. That sucks. That, that flinch was clutch for them, though. That was a clutch flinch. They go for a Protect? Why? Why go for a Protect? Oh, just to see what we're going to do. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, they get another Speed Boost. But unfortunately for us, we are dead here because they can just go for a Terra Blast. Terra Blast comes through, which is fantastic. And down Iron Valiant goes, I guess. So now we have one Pokemon left, which is a Alolan Raichu. Their poor mod didn't even make it on the field. I just got absolutely dominated by this team. Although we, I think we did we did well. I think it was the Yam Mega. They, 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 they sell the Yam Mega perfectly, to be honest with you. And Yam Mega is a hard Pokemon to pull off. So that, like kudos to them. So Raichu comes through. Cheese comes through. We go for a Surf, because that's the only thing we can do, really. Um, they go for a Bug Buzz, though, which is, of course, going to take us out. And that's going to be the game. So, GG Reese, that was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. Um, very, very much, though. So, GG. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to try the team out, be sure to use the code on the screen now. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.